welcome to the Valentine's Day video. My name is Ruben Evelyn and I use he they pronouns. I'm really excited to share this project with you as I've been working on it for quite a while. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this video and I'll meet you back here at the end and we'll talk about how you can download these files and send them to your friends yourself for free. Hey, it's voiceover Ruben here to talk to you about the history of Valentine's Day. I did a bit of research into this subject, so let me break down what I learned for you. Valentine's Day is found first recorded in the Galassian Sacramentary from the 8th century, the second oldest Christian liturgical book still surviving today. 
The book firmly dates the holiday as to be celebrated on February 14th in honor of several St. Valentines, but mainly St. Valentine of Rome and St. Valentine of Terni. Our main focus is St. Valentine of Rome, who was martyred in 269 and added to the calendar of saints by Pope Gelasius I in 496. Legend says St. Valentine of Rome was jailed for marrying Christians, a union forbidden under the strictly pagan Roman rule. While in jail, awaiting his execution, Valentine cured his jailer's daughter of her blindness and converted the entire family to Christianity. Supposedly, the first Valentine ever sent was written to the jailer's daughter, signed Your Valentine, from the priest himself. Now, this holiday didn't spring from nowhere. If we look further back in history, we see Valentine's Day has roots in the pagan Roman god of fertility, Lupercus, as well as a holiday known as Lupercalia, which occurred from the 13th to the 15th of February, for centuries before St. Valentine ever came around. Now, let's talk about the wildness that is Lupercalia, though, because it's really interesting to me. So this holiday began with the founding of Rome Mythos, where baby Romulus and Remus are raised by a she-wolf in a cave. In order to honor this she-wolf, priests would sacrifice one dog and several male goats, wiping the blood from the ritual knife onto their bare skin. They would then use wool soaked in milk to wipe the blood away. This is most likely where we get the holiday colors of red and white from. Red for the blood, white for the milk. Some other weird things happen, as well as names being drawn from a jar to determine who would couple up for the feast and revelry. Supposedly, many couples even stayed together until the following year, some even falling in love and marrying. So how did a festival of naked, blood-covered priests and revelry become the holiday we know today? Well, after Pope Gelasius outlawed Lupercalia and replaced it with the Feast of St. Valentine, a lot of time passed. And in that time, people like Shakespeare and Chaucer really put a softer, sweeter spin on the practice, the latter even likening the time of year to when birds supposedly choose their mates for the season. Eve Valentine, a Welsh folk song originating from Ser Digion, written by the poet Daniel Dew, from 1792 to 1846, also speaks to February being when the birds pair for the year ahead. The version I'm going to play for you is performed by Julie Murphy and Dylan Fowler from the album Fwad. A radar back and bill your kais in the Hraguai can they on? Or San Yang Gans and Gwani, can they see Adam Ginhesi? I need you in the long road, they send him in a Gwenam Gani. But well, the Limad Lane, Pava, but there we do it. Or Roy Lancaster, the Lauro Dolin Marum Warren, and there we shall my radar, and now we'll be Nigamar. If you man in there, it's a son of poor Bargoyan Gala. In in there, we shall be near a honour to feel blood. And read your less or all the law, Dorin Brow and Bruya. My grand when a necky not a blood that have you revolved. And Tiria Gwen, my natural guide and come at Sank at Senior. But are we gay a crelon? Radio 
i dorym brałem ruje. Mae'r gwan wena negina Dawlod er haf i'w rifo A'n tiri a gwen Mae'n atyr gain Yn cymryd sain Cysynio Mae'r gwan wena negina Dawlod er haf i'w rifo A'n tiri a gwen Mae'n atyr gain Yn cymryd sain Cysynio The oldest surviving valentine was sent from the Duke Charles de Orleans, who was being held at the Tower of London at the time of writing. The oldest English valentine we still have laying around was written in 1477 by Marguerite Bruys to her future husband, John Paston, in what we refer to as the Paston Letters today. If you want to see some beautiful old Valentine's Day cards, Check out the link in the description below. It leads to a lovely collection on Google Arts and Culture about this very subject. So sending valentines is and was a whole thing, but there were other ways to celebrate the holiday too. Some of the stranger ones I could find referenced are a burning of a holly man effigy, eating a boiled egg whole, and pinning five bay leaves to your pillow the night before so that you might dream of your true love while you sleep. And I hope this spiel of mine didn't put you to sleep, but it's time for me to end this voiceover and return to Reuben of the moment. Back to the cards. Yeah, I was feeling, I'm feeling pretty discouraged about this project right now. Um, I'm having some executive function issues. <laughs> making it really hard to like do the thing. So I pulled some tarot cards to hopefully help and I got the page of pentacles reversed which is I kind of read reversals as like a blockage of the upright card. So the page of pentacles is like you know hard work and dedication and having the energy and perseverance to work through your goals. That's blocked. <laughs> I wanted to know what was blocking me and I got the Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles says that basically I need to reconnect with the initial inspiration of this project, which was that I wanted to make some cool Valentine's Day cards to send to my friends. I want to tell them that I'm thinking about them and I want to show them that I love them and that I hope they're having a good time and yeah, that's really it. I just wanted to kind of check in about that because I'm not feeling great. I haven't been having the greatest couple of days. I haven't filmed anything. And it's alright. It's it is what it is. Um, just kind of working through it. So bear with me. And we'll figure it out.
envelopes. They are all um, mostly addressed. I'm waiting for a couple more addresses, but then it'll be done. I can't believe I did it. I'm really proud. Even though I was so <laughs> against doing it in the beginning. This always happens. It's so annoying, but it is what it is. <laughs> Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you liked what you saw and found it at least somewhat interesting. If you are interested, you can go to my website, rthwrms.com, earthworms.com, and you can download these files for free. No charge. Just absolutely free. Download them. Print them out. Send them to your friends. There's going to be full sheet and half sheet cards, which is really exciting. Again, the website is rthwrms.com, earthworms.com, and you can download those for free on my shop. Do you have a favorite Valentine that you've ever received? Leave me a comment about it. Don't forget to like and subscribe while you're down there, and thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I'd love to hear from you, and yeah, thank you. Have a great day.